Before you start to use your chainsaw, you must do the following. Start by assembling the bar in the chain. Reset the chain brake. Lift out the flap until it clicks into position. Rotate the flap anti-clockwise to loosen the clutch cover. Remove this and the clutch cover. If you are taking the cover off for the first time, you must remove the shipping spacer. Mount the guide bar on the bar bolts and slide the bar backwards to its rear position. Now, attach the chain. Carefully check the direction of the cutters. Their sharp edges must be facing forwards towards the tip of the bar. Place the chain over and behind the clutch retainer. Check that the cutter links fit into the clutch drum sprocket and that they run smoothly in the guide bar groove. Continue feeding the chain in a forward direction into the groove in the guide bar, starting on the top side of the bar. Pull the guide bar forwards to tension the chain. The clutch cover has a chain tension adjusting wheel. This wheel adjusting the position of the pin, which must be aligned to the pinhole in the bar. Adjust the position of the pin so that it fits into the hole. Reassemble the clutch cover and hand tighten using the flap. Adjust the chain tension by turning the adjusting wheel clockwise. Tighten the chain so that it does not sag on the underside of the bar and hand check that it moves easily around the bar. Lift up the tip of the bar and lock it by tightening the clutch cover using the flap. Remember to fold the flap back in once finished. The tension of a new chain must be checked regularly until it has been run in. Always check the chain tension each time you use and refuel your chain. If the chain sags, it may become disengaged from the drive. If the tension is too tight, it will cause excessive wear on the bar and the chain. Now it is time to fuel the engine. When working in remote locations, the use of a combi fuel can is convenient. Just pour the chain oil into the small container and the fuel mixture into the large container. The fuel mixture should consist of petrol and a good quality two-stroke engine oil. When using the universal powered by McCulloch two-cycle oil, the mixture should be 2%, which is 100 milliliters of oil to 5 liters of petrol. When using another brand of two-stroke oil, read the product instructions carefully. Fill by pouring the chain oil into the small tank closest to the bar. The chain must be lubricated when in operation, otherwise it will become overheated and permanently damaged. This will also cause damage to the bar. Your chainsaw has automatic lubrication. We recommend that you use a biodegradable chain oil. Fill the two-stroke fuel mixture in the rear tank located beside the rear handle. The combined oil and fuel can has an overfill protection to avoid unnecessary spillage. The fuel will flow from the can as long as there is pressure on the spout and it will stop automatically when the tank is full. Always ensure good ventilation when handling fuels.